Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make old fashioned beef stew. Don't let the long list of ingredients scare you away. Most of them are spices. Beef stew is actually super simple to make and boy is it delicious. The first thing you'll want to do is prepare all of your vegetables because there's a little bit of cutting and peeling to do. You'll need four stalks of sliced celery, four sliced carrots, and about one and a half pounds of sliced red potatoes. And you want to cut those into bite-sized pieces. Then you'll need two pounds of beef stew meat, which is basically just diced chuck roast. Sprinkle on two tablespoons of cornstarch and season with one teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then we'll give this a toss until the meat is fairly evenly coated with the cornstarch. All right, now before we head on over to the stove, I wanna show you one last thing, which is pearl onions. These are a small, mild onion that's already peeled that you can find in the freezer section of your grocery store. I love having a bite of onion in beef stew. If you don't though, you could also just use a regular white diced onion. But let me tell you, these pearl onions are totally delicious. All right. We're gonna grab our meat and head on over to the stove. Get two tablespoons of olive oil heating in a large pot over medium high heat. Then we'll add in our two pounds of beef stew meat and we'll get this searing. You wanna sear the meat for about five minutes until it's mostly browned. Now once it's mostly brown, you'll add in two to three cloves of minced garlic and two tablespoons of tomato paste. We're gonna cook this for about one to two more minutes. Then we'll deglaze the pan by pouring in four cups of beef broth, a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. That's always a fun one to say. Then we'll add in the celery, carrots, and potatoes, as well as the pearl onions. And then add in half a teaspoon each of dried parsley, dried basil, dried oregano, paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of allspice which is one of my secret stew ingredients. Stir this all together and bring this to a boil. Now, once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low, pop a lid on, and we're gonna let this simmer for 90 minutes. Now, just before your stew is done, we're gonna make a little cornstarch slurry to thicken it up. So you'll need a quarter cup of cold water, and you'll mix that together with two tablespoons of cornstarch. You just give it a quick stir until the cornstarch fully dissolves in the water. Now, after 90 minutes of simmering the stew on the stove, your vegetables and your meat should be nice and tender. So what we'll do right before we take it off the stove is take this cornstarch slurry and we'll pour this in with our beef stew. Then we'll just stir this in and cook it for a couple more minutes until the stew has thickened. And then you, my friends, are ready to eat and my stew can stand on its own two feet. If you can name that movie, I will be super impressed. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.